I'm delighted that you want to learn more about the Unitarian Universalist Church of Worcester, and I suspect you have some questions. My name is Aaron Payson, and I am the lead minister of the Unitarian Universalist Church. I am one of a number of ministers associated with the congregation, and I'm delighted uh, to have served the church now for uh, going on 25 years. I'm in my 33rd year of, of ministry, and uh, I'm the product of this movement in many ways. I often talk about my own religious orientation being a genetic predisposition. I'm the, the child of a Unitarian Universalist minister, the Reverend Robert Payson. I grew up in a Unitarian Universalist church, the one he served, mostly in Lancaster, Pennsylvania for over 21 years. I came to the idea of ministry having gone to college in order to study uh, pre-medicine and discovered while I was there that I, I really was drawn to and felt called to come into the ministry in my own way. Also, someone in the family had to inherit the library, if you will. The home that I grew up in uh, fostered the first food pantry in Lancaster. It came out of my parents' um, living room. And so the idea of serving the larger community was sort of bred into us from the beginning. I've continued that kind of passion in a variety of ways here in Worcester, being involved in a partnership with the clergy and the police department, working with Worcester Interfaith and serving those who are homeless and here at our congregation with the Loaves and Fishes Food Pantry, helping to understand what food insecurity is and making certain that people who are hungry have access to nutritious food in order to maintain and grow their own health and well-being. I love it when I'm able to come in during the distributions and simply walk from car to car and greet people and look them in the eye and ask them, how are you? This congregation has a spirit. You walk in here and you can feel that this is a place that welcomes you as you are. It's friendly. It's joyous. The people here enjoy being together. It is a, a place where we, we sing and we pray and we invite each other to think deeply about our own place in the world and how it is that we can serve a world that's often bruised and hurting so that we might make real the values that we share. It's not a place where everyone believes the same thing. You see the symbols behind me. There are people that reflect every kind of spiritual orientation that these symbols represent. So it isn't that we all believe the same things, it is that we have a similar way of being in the world, and that is that we respect each other, that we, we love each other, that we strive to serve the world beyond our differences in a way that helps us reflect the possibility of community. And that our differences actually are the things that, that give us meaning, help us grow, are part of the way in which we reflect what it means to be human. So I hope that you find yourself here and you find a place for yourself here. You bring who you are as you are. And if you have any questions, you can ask any one of us, including me, about the history and the traditions of this place, about the the way in which this movement is learning to serve people ever more meaningfully in a changing world. This congregation of love, hope, and justice, inspiring people to take on the challenges of that changing world, is not only a place for the people who are, who are already here, it is a place for you too.